Hello all, this is Amanda. The knot that I'm going to show you today is this one. It's called the barrel knot and I really like it as a way to finish off macrame plant hangers but can obviously be used in other projects such as wall hangings. Okay, so let's get started with it. Right, so first of all we need our one cord and we make a loop with the cord like that and then we wrap one side around like this one two three and I tend to do anything between three and four wrappings around and then what you have to do and it is easier I have to say when that you've got more gravity and you are holding your cord downwards so it's hanging down say from the bottom of a plant hanger but just for the purposes of demonstration I'm showing you on this board here with this thick cord um, so what you'll do is you'll keep tension at the top and then you'll pull the loose end at the bottom and at the same time let go of this cord and just let it slide down gradually like that okay and so there we have our barrel knot with the cord wrapped around three times. Okay. Just going to show you an example here of how I've used the barrel knot in the tap for the tassel of a macrame plant hanger. So you can see with different types of cord, it can have a slightly different appearance. And you could snip it at the end there so you've got no tassel at all and add a little bit of glue to make sure it stays really secure or you can leave it with a bit of tassel showing at the end so i'm just going to do the barrel knot one more time with you so we'll take another piece of cord this time Let's attach it at the top of the board so there's some tension and this time i'm going to wrap it round five times and again this isn't the ideal cord to use for this so especially as we're doing it five times I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out let's just see it is a slightly organic knot so sometimes you'll get a neater barrel than at other times but then sometimes it's also quite nice to have a mix of slightly different knots Right, so I've wrapped that round five times now. I'm holding the section at the top and I'm going to pull the section at the bottom and let go of the loop in just a moment. So I will do that now. So that's pulling downwards. And yep, that's not too bad. We're slightly slippier, slippier, slip, more slippery cords. Um, you would get a bit more of a uniform result and also as I said if you're holding your cord downwards like that so that's with wrapped around five times and so you can then compare that wrapped around four times there and we've got wrapped around three times there okay so a fun one to experiment with, just to add some extra detail and finish things off. Thanks for watching everyone, bye.